We have a bracket. That's right. Brackets, brackets, brackets. It's March. It's brackets. We have a bracket. Uh, the Wisconsin women's hockey team is going dancing for the 11th straight year in the NCAA tournament. They are hosting a regional for the first time since 2019. First time they would have been hosting a regional. First time they are a top four seed since 2019. Big, big day for Wisconsin. You hear those sirens? It's an emergency episode of the Scotty Six Pack Podcast. Good morning. Thank you for enjoying with the Six Pack. The Scotty Six Pack, the only podcast talking all things Wisconsin sports with you six days a week. I'm your host, Kedrick Summers. You can find me on the website, formerly known as Twitter, at Kedrick Summers, and follow the podcast at Scotty Six Pack for the latest updates in Wisconsin sports. Quick one, quick one, uh, because Wisconsin is tipping off against Purdue in four minutes. Badgers make the NCAA tournament. Once again, uh, they, they get the auto bid. By nature of shellacking uh, the Ohio State Buckeyes in the and or in the WCHA final, there was some buzz going around yesterday about if the committee would keep bracket integrity by just simply seeding the teams one through eleven as they appear, or if. The, the committee would shift some... Oh, that's a horrible representation of the bracket. Or or if the committee would end up shifting some folks around uh, to maintain more regionality and, and make travel partners easier for the tournament overall. Uh, the committee ended up keeping bracket integrity. So if you watched the uh, episode I did with Noah Clark's... With Noah Clark... On Thursday, you you know the bracket as it is already set. Um, we predicted that to a T, and I just deleted it on accident in my document. Um, so Wisconsin is going to play St. Lawrence or Penn State in the regional final. That is set. Look, sh- should be a great matchup. And then Wisconsin is going to be on its way to play likely Colgate in the Frozen Four semifinal. Colgate will get the winner of Cornell and Stonehill. Would imagine Cornell is going to win that game. Stonehill out of the North Northeast Women's Hockey Alliance, or New England Women's Hockey Alliance, rather. That, that conference is just not anywhere near as good as the ECAC, so you'll, you'll get an ECAC showdown in the regional final uh, in New York there. But Wisconsin's going to have to play Colgate in the Frozen Four, it would appear, if, if the Badgers get there. The matchup with Penn State or St. Lawrence is not a shoe-in. It is absolutely not a shoe-in. I, I think both of those teams are solid. St. Lawrence more so than Penn State. But th- there, is, there is something going on there where, look, St. Lawrence has some high scoring folks and could really do some damage. They, they have a high quality or, or, or what, what? Oh, sorry. I'm just looking at a bunch of scuttle, but lots of people complaining about lots of like women's hockey people complaining about the selection show today because they got a lot of stuff like wrong in terms of how the bracket is. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's nonsense. Um, but, Wisconsin will face St. Lawrence, Penn State, the the winner of one of those two games. Uh, St. Lawrence has a really, really, really solid power play. If you want a little bit more on the bracket on how this first round is going to go down, uh, I have a piece up on Badger Notes already. You can click that link in my podcast description uh, to, to find that. And Wisconsin finds itself in the NCAA tournament for, for the 11th straight season. And Colgate awaits them in in the Frozen Four, I think is likely how this one is going to go down. Wisconsin beat Colgate in the Colgate-hosted regional last year on route to winning the national title. So an opponent Wisconsin is at least somewhat familiar with. Uh, there, there is a chance Wisconsin could win this. Col- Colgate has been excellent this year. Colgate has already taken a game off of Ohio State. the Buckeyes' first series of the year. Uh, Colgate and Ohio State split that series. So a a team that has a a track record of 
playing and beating very high quality competition. Um, among those high high quality opponents is, is Clarkson, a a team that has given Wisconsin at least a little bit of trouble historically, like in the 2017 NCAA tournament where Clarkson ended up winning that one, uh, beating Wisconsin in the national title game. Uh, I have a better image of the full bracket up here on your screen now. Um, after Wisconsin gets out of that potential Frozen Four matchup, a likely rematch with Ohio State awakes, uh, awaits, I would imagine. Uh, Ohio State's going to play the winner of Duluth and UConn. I, I think that matchup is fascinating, by the way. I, I think Duluth and UConn are two really, really, really solid teams. We'll get into this more this week with Noah. Um, and then the other semi, the other regional final is Clarkson, Minnesota. Like we talked about last week. I mean, look, Minnesota graduated 11 players off of last season's roster that made the Frozen Four. It's still back in, in in this tournament as the five seed. It's an incredibly, incredibly impressive season for Brad Frost over there in Minneapolis. But your reward is going to play a pissed off Clarkson team that just lost the ECAC uh, t tournament final with three nothing. Two of them were empty netters, and one of them was a goal that went in bouncing off of Clarkson's own defenseman in into the back of the net. Just an absolute heartbreaker for for, for Clarkson, which had beat. Colgate in their two regular season meetings so far this year. So, so Colgate got one over on Clarkson in the moment when, frankly, it mattered most uh, for them at the very end of the year, building some momentum. So I, I would imagine Ohio State's going to come out of that region. Look, Clarkson is no pushover. Um, I think Clarkson is very spooky, but I have a hard time seeing Ohio State slow down. Frankly, nobody has been able to slow Ohio State down, really, except for, like, Wisconsin this year. Uh, I think no matter what happens in, in this bracket, Ohio State's going to end up in a rematch in the national title game, whether that is with Wisconsin or with Colgate. Uh, I could see both of those things happening. All those teams are good. This is going to be an exciting, exciting, exciting tournament. Uh, Wisconsin to host its regional final on Saturday, and then the uh, regional semifinal first round matchup between St. Lawrence and Penn state will also be hosted at Laban arena in Madison on Thursday evening. So stay, stay tuned to the feed here. We're, we're going to keep talking all things Wisconsin sports with you. I got to go watch this Purdue, uh, Purdue Wisconsin game. Just wanted to get, you know, so, some quick thoughts in here really, really, really quickly, uh, about this matchup overall, because it's going to be a, uh, Penn, Penn state, Tessa Janicki is just an awesome playmaker. She has the fifth most assists in the country, and three of those four players she trails are batters. Like, look, almost nobody does it as good as Wisconsin. When you are in the tier of people doing it as good as basically anybody except for folks at Wisconsin, you are an incredibly solid player and, and a team that is not to be messed with. Uh, Penn State also has a head coach that, that is led by one of the winningest uh, coaches in the country. Uh, Jeff Campersall is awesome. He's sixth all-time in wins. He spent 20 years at Princeton. This is a guy who's been around a long time. Uh, Wisconsin hasn't played Penn State much. They've, they've only played twice. I, I don't know what the... And I don't think Campersall ever played Wisconsin with Penn State. I could be wrong there, but I'd imagine that in their several, several, several years in the sport, Mark Johnson and uh, Coach Campersall have crossed paths and I'm sure have a lot of respect for each other. It should be an all-timer of, of a coaching matchup. should be really, really, really fun to watch. Yeah, stay, stay tuned to the feed. I got to go watch Wisconsin Purdue. Bracket is out. Wisconsin is in the NCAA tournament as the number two overall seed after beating the Ohio State Buckeyes brains in yesterday to win the WCHA final faceoff 6-2-3. If you want more of a recap of that, I also have that piece up on Badger Notes right now. Oh, a lot of Wisconsin hockey things over there, plus a bracketology piece on uh, the Wisconsin men's basketball team. Look, if you're, if you're listening to this and you're listening to this after the Purdue game, that bracketology piece is still important. If Wisconsin wins this game, uh, they're, they're going to jump up really high in the bracketology rankings. And I talk about that a little bit. If they lose, it really doesn't affect them much because Purdue is just so, 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 so good and is beating people's <laughs> brains in, uh, in inside Mackey Arena. I'm Wisconsin. Gotta go.